It's nice to see you again. No, I can see better. Um, I thought we might look at this scrolling. rolling tree here today um, in part we have talked of the uh, Le Gris uh, de Le Pen and Le Carc de Levrad family prior so I reckon that's where we will begin today Way at the top of this chart is a, a little addition to explain somewhat, I reckon, a little bit more about a Protestant American family. Andrew McClure, 1673 to about 1739, husband of Margaret McRand, were the parents of John McClure, 1702 to 1775, whom took for a wife, Jean Finn. Them were involved in the King George War. Uh, from 1744 to 1748 concerning military operations that formed part of the War of Austrian Succession. These, these were op military operations in North America. The third of the four French and Indian Wars which took primarily place in British provinces of New York, Massachusetts Bay, New Hampshire, and Nova Scotia. <laughs> we'll see moreover on this side of the chart where we have mention of the Concheco Massacre. But we're jumping ahead of ourselves. So Jean Jean McClure, 1731-815, daughter of Jean Finn, and John McClure, son of Andrew McClure and Mark McGrand. Her married Louis Etienne Pepin, son of Louis Etienne Pepin, and Marie Madeleine Martin Dite Jollycourt, sister of Marie Joseph Martin, the wife of Claude Legree de Lepin. The Martin sisters, Marie Joseph Martin and Marie Madeleine Martin Dite Jollycourt, are not further discussed here um, outside of mention of their children. And we will deal with them in a moment. I want to jump up to the top where we where we began. Uh, Theodore Leger married Nicole Chevreau. Their son Jean Francois Leger, 1556 to 1614, uh, married Michelle Gislaine, a girl of Perche, France, where with um, many of our descendants originated. Jacqueline Francois Legier, 
daughter of Michel Gislain and Jean-François Legire, son of Theodore Legire and Nicole Chevreau, married her uh, Pierre Mallet, son of Jean Mallet, and Marie Doucy of Normandy, France. Two daughters are mentioned, born to Jacqueline Francois Legere and Pierre Mallet, and they be uh, Madeleine Mallet, of which no more is said here, and her sister Perrine Mallet the wife of Marion Boucher, one of the predominant founding families. Marion Boucher and Perrin Mallet were the parents of Jean Gallerin Boucher de Bois Buisson a mason and a wheelwright. Born in France, 1633, died Quebec, 1714. Him married Marie de Magrigian Leclerc, a fille à marier, a marriageable woman. So she was one of the first 50, 60 women of France in Canada, perhaps one of the first 50, 60 white women in Canada. Her was a sister of Marie Claire Leclerc Dite Levrard, the wife of Guillaume Le Gris de Lapine, 1639 to about 1702. Now Guillaume Le Gris de Lapine and Marie Claire Leclerc, Dite Leverard, have at least two children mentioned here. The first we'll mention is the younger Claude Legree de Lepine, 1693 to 1740, whom, as said, married Marie Joseph Martin. And their, their child, Claude Legree de Lepine, was the husband of Louis Paul Guyot, 1707 to 1759. Louis Paul Guyot was the sister of Marie Joseph Guyot, wife of Antoine Paquette, son of Rene Paquette, and Catherine uh, who? Mal who? Um, and their brother was Jean Baptiste Guyot, 1692 to 1756, the husband of Marianne Legris, daughter of Adrien Legris de Lepine, brother of Claude Legris de Lepine, Sons of Guillaume, Guillaume Le Gris de Lepine and Marie Claire Le Kirk de Le Vrant. So we've gone in quite a circle there. And again, the reason there's so much interrelation between these children is A, they had big families mostly, not always, and B, proximity. You are more likely to involve yourself in a marital relationship with uh, a nearer by neighbor or someone in uh, a proximal town or village rather than someone who lived on the other side of the country. Albeit there are those relationships of uh, voyageurs who um, pass through and remain but short while and sire children thereof. A brother of Claude Legree de Lepine and Adrien Legree de Lepine was Jean Baptiste Legree de Lepine de Bisson. Born Paris, 1670, died about 1737. Him first married Jean Morin and later married Marie Genevieve Sedelot. So we, we spoke last of the Sedelot family as well.
So let's return to the brothers, uh, the siblings, Louis Paul Quio, Marie Joseph Quio, and the brother Jean Baptiste Quio, the children of Claire Francois Trout and Jean Guillot, ou Guillot, dit Bois Guillot, 1650-1745, a carpenter to the king and a bourgeois, him the son of uh, Francois ou Noël Guillot and Jean Bru, of unknown origin. Being a bourgeois, he must have been a hell of a good carpenter, having come from unknown origins. The wife Claire Francois Truth, 1667-1744, had prior been married as a child bride, age 15, But I see not here on the chart uh, wherewith on to whom, for indeed surely there, there are mention of three women, Suzanne de Bitter, Louise Peltier, and Claire Francois Trout, as all uh, being the wife at one time or another to Jean Guillot ou Guillot dit Boaz Guillot. So half siblings to the Guillot children previously mentioned. There must be an error here. Um, Somewhere I see the error. It's um, Suzanne de. B we will correct the error thusly. Claire Francois Trout, daughter of Margaret Garraman and Matherin Trout, son of Jean Trout and Simon Gossin was a child bride, age 15, married to habitant Louis Lefebvre de Batlinville. Him later married Suzanne de Burr, and their daughter was Angelique Lefebvre de Batlinville, who married uh, Jean Gauthier de la Rouche and Pierre Brunet, but not in that order. Now, We see here the name of uh, Carangon Salier Jean Lavalier did Petit Jean Paquette, whom was killed by the Iroquois, and his wife Marguerite Dusson, une fille de Roy. Um, her, the daughter, Well, there's a lot of names written down here in a small space and several marker colors. I'm looking at the orange now. 
Gaspard Boucher and Nicole Le Maire, uh, François Le Maire and Jean Dadier, Sir de Fronier, Florinier. Now, Jean Dadier, Sir de Florinier, and Francois Le Maire, sister of Nicole Le Maire and Gaspard Boucher, were the parents of Jean Dadier. And her, the wife of Adrien Joliet, the brother of Louis Joliet, uh, the explorer um, who traveled with the Jesuit. I think it was Marat, I don't know. Marquette, I don't know. They explored the Mississippi extensively together. And Jean Joliet, Ou Joliet, the father of Adrien Joliet, and Louis Joliet was a wagon maker and a wheelwright. Um, one thing is certain that in the New World, everyone there served a purpose, and a purpose was served by everyone whom was there. Who did not sit idle and do nothing. There were some who were uh, but laborers and farmhands, but for the most part, the middle class were uh, rights and masons and uh, skilled laborers. Um, I would not call a pit sawyer to, to, to say that was not a skilled laborer nor a mere laborer. A pit sawyer would be someone who was especially skilled in sawing and felling large trees. Large trees were needed to, to uh, create beams to uh, create large buildings. Gross overs. So, here in the middle, is what seems be um, a, a, a marriage cluster involving Madeleine Dupont de Loquet, 1714-1751, as the third wife of Jacques Christophe Montmigny, Minet. His second wife was Madeleine Nolet, daughter of Madeleine Palin and Sebastian Nolet, and his first wife was a child bride. Um, she was married at age 13 years. And might have died in childbirth. Uh, she was soon replaced by the second bride, Madeleine Nolet, so she must have had children. Marie Joseph Lessard, 1748 to 1768, daughter of Madeleine Pepin and Etienne Lessard, was the first wife of Jacques Christophe Montmigny Minet. Son of Jean Baptiste Montmigné and Marie Madeleine Lefebvre. Her, the daughter of Louis Lefebvre de Bat and Ville and Claire Francois Truth, also a child bride, married her at age 15. I love talking about our Canadian child brides of the Quebecois because <coughs> those darling maids were probably the most important people who ever contributed to us as not a nation but a family. 
a national family, a founding family of peoples. We, we, we are not what they say we are today. We are something more akin onto the tangled roots of an ancient tree, not the grafted fruit growing thereupon. So Habitant Le Lefebvre de Batonville was the father also Angelique Lefebvre de Batonville by the woman Suzanne de Beer, daughter of Suzanne Golan de Golan and Vincent de Beer. Her the sister of Fideroy Marie de Beer. who was first wed, age 18, to Gilles Enart, a farmer and Jesuit domestique. They had no children. Him two years older than her, and she was next married to Jean Bernard, son of Jean Hans Bernard, and Catherine Fauden Stauden, whom had lived near Germany before uh, relocating to Quebec, or Nouveau France, it was called Nouvelle France. The child, Marie Anne Bernard, daughter of Marie de Beer, Fideroy, and Jean Bernard, married. Jean Dardier, Sir de Frognier, and uh, her daughter B. Jean Dardier, who married Adrien Jolier, Jolier, Adrien Jolier, brother of explorer Louis Jolier. So there's a real close relationship to the Jesuits in Nouvelle France because we know that Louis Jolier um, explored with the Jesuit. Um, missionary down the Mississippi. We're gonna skip over a lot I guess. We'll go back to that marriage cluster um, involving Jacques Christophe Mokmigny and his three wives Marie Joseph Lessard, Madeleine Nollet, and Madeleine Dupont de Louquet, daughter of Louise Adam and Francois Louquet. Do you see that Madeleine Nollet, the second wife, uh, had prior been married to Louis Joseph Bougui, son of Louis Bogus and Marie Anne Metteyer. And Louis Joseph Bougui. Uh, him too had been married prior to Marie Genevieve Giroux, Marie Genevieve Toupin, Joseph Giroux. So we see by these marriage clusters and these serial marriages and these generational marriage clusters how those roots of our first French family progenitors form the tangle uh, web that they do, which when that storm which is passing, this is nigh on us now, but have you seen trees bend in the wind in, in hurricane storms? This, this is why we're talking about what we're talking about together here and now. Um, uh, There are uh, other elements of marriage clusters involved in this scrolling chart, but we will forego for the most part um, what stands out that we should mention here is Jean Senelot 
and Marie Claire Lahogue were mentioned last. Then the parents of Marie Genevieve Charlotte de Montreuil, her the wife of Jean Legris de Lapine, son of Guillaume -Le Legris and Marie Laval Leclerc, um, whom also had married Jean Morin. Uh, we won't get into any descendants there of that relationship. Now, Marie Genevieve Charlotte de Montreuil and Jean Legris de Lepien were the parents of Marianne Legris, wife of Pierre Duval. Also had married Anne Legard, daughter of Anne Dupre and Nicolas Legard. Also had married Joseph Toupin, son of Antoine Toupin and Louise Cloutier. And not much else will be said here of them. We will go again to the Legree family. Jean Legree de Lapine and Marie Genevieve Saint-Louis de Montreuil were the parents of also Angelique Legree, whom wed Moise Joshua Morin de Chenvert, parents of Marie Elizabeth Moran, wife of Pierre Guillaume Bruno. Now, we've discussed the relationship of the Bruno family as involved in the later involved in the um, legislature in Lower Canada. Now, one name stands out on this whole chart. Um, I checked into it a little bit, just to add a little flair to it for you. We'll start with mentioning blacksmith Richard Otis and his wife Anne Shua Connolly, sometimes called Susanna Starbuck, of Maine and New Hampshire. Now, Jean Baptiste Jean Otis, 1683 to 1700, was killed in the Concheco massacre with his parents. Now, the garrison of Concheco was a fortified dwelling settlement where the houses um, were fortified and contained that extended family, that English colonial family. The raid was a triggering event in the first intercolonial war during which the Battle of Quebec 1690 took place. Uh, it have, was a French victory, and we remember it by Frontenac. The only response I will make to your general will come from the mouth of my cannons and the fire of my muskets. The reason I want to... The reason I want to mention here the Otis family is not so much their interrelationship to the families here upon this extended scrolling chart, but that they are mentioned here and they are related to Francois Rose Otis, our ancestor, and she was taken with others uh, whom had survived the massacre to a fate worse than death. Uh, they were sold or traded or given or rescued by the French. So we did another chart. It's been two days. I get depressed, so that's why you haven't seen me. I had tried to read that chart before and was unable to. 
We're dealing with a Metis family now, I think. Donnie. This is a much simpler chart than that long scrolling chart. And albeit uh, it eventuates into a Metis chart, this is definitely a Quebecois family. Jean Charpentier and uh, Bob Renault were the parents of Jean Charpentier. The wife of Jean Cassavet de la de Bosch, parents of Marguerite Cassavet de la de Bosch, who married Jean Pepin de Descardonnet, son of Jean Pepin de Descardonnet, and Marie Madeleine Loiseau, a child bride of age 14. Jean Pepin de Descardonnet was the son of Guillaume Pepin and Jean Machin, a child bride of age 15. Josephette Pepin dit Descardonné, daughter of Jean Pepin dit Descardonné and Marguerite Cassandette dit La Boche, daughter of Jean Charpentier, daughter of Barbara Lano. Mary Jean Baptiste Donnie. And him was the son of Marie Robert de La Fontaine. As the third marriage to Antoine Donnie, him having also married Marie Francois Gautier and Madeleine Rachoum in, in their order. Antoine Donnie was the brother of Pierre Donnie. Husband of Marguerite Robert, the aunt of Jean Baptiste Donnet, husband of Joseph Pepin de Descardonnet, daughter of Marguerite Cassavet de, de Barche, daughter of Jean Charpentier, daughter of Barbara No. Marianne Donnet, wife of Jacques Mousseau was the sister of Pierre Donnet and Antoine Donnet. Their mother was Pierre, their father was Antoine Donnet Donnet, an engagé. He was uh, there in Quebec working. Uh, the engagé, the, are basically the white niggers of North America, according to Pierre Vallier, the FLQ terrorist, I suppose. He, uh, <coughs> you, uh, you had to work off your English about three years, four years, seven years before you were a free man. Until that time you were an engaged laborer or a slave. And that's the way slavery was all the way down the eastern seaboard until um, John Castor took uh, his uh, black African indentured servant into the court and made a slave for life of him, uh, laying the foundations for a slavery for life in North America. The uh, practice of slavery was quite commonplace throughout the Atlantic, especially around the Caribbean and South America. It was practiced extensively by French, English, Spanish, Portuguese, Dutch, and the Jewish merchants who ran the slave auctions and owned a lot of the slave ships, the that, that, that uh, participated in the tripartite black African slave trade in the Atlantic also had established slavery at that time throughout uh, the Pacific um, in, in say Java, uh, Cathay, Indonesia, New Guinea, uh, Burma, etc. 
So we started talking about this little brick and we ended up way over there. Um, here be another little a little brick that I thought might be a mitis. It's for the Cardinal family. You can't read that, but I show it anyhow so you can see it's an extensive chart covering several generations. Um, the elder of this chart is uh, Pierre Papin, born about 1580 in Saint-Saint-Ange, France, who married about 1605, François-Prior, and their son, Guillaume de Trangement Pepin, born about 1607 in Saint-Laurent, France, died in 1697, August 12, Trois Rivrier, Quebec, being buried in Saint Maurice, having married Jean Machin, daughter Jean Machin Machin, and their son, their daughter Elizabeth Dietrachmont Pepin, born 1659 in Trois Rivier, married uh, there Jean. Arcouette, son of Pierre Arcouette and Elizabeth Martin. The first of their ten children, Madeleine Arcouette, first married Antoine Lenard Gastinon, son of Louis Gastinon de Touchen and Gillette, Gillette Moti, 1696 in Champlain, France, later to marry Antoine Herriot. The daughter of Madeleine Arcouette, daughter of Elizabeth de Trachemont Pepin, daughter of Jean Machin, was Marie Catherine Gastineau, and her married Guillaume Ibo, 1736 at Montreal. Him, the son of Guillaume Ibo, Son of Pierre Rimbaud, Rimbaud, uh, saint hilary Martha, saint en france and Marie Boutarota. And his second wife, Louise Marie Charot, daughter of Charles Charot and Jacqueline Ben Bonin. So that sort of sums up the old French origins of Marie Amabel Imbo, born in Montreal, 1737, daughter of Marie Catherine Gastineau, daughter of Madeleine Arcouette, daughter of Elizabeth Franchement Pepin, daughter of Jean Machin. Her having married Joseph Cardinal, Saint Joachim Pont Claire du Quebec at Saint Laurent, Montreal, Quebec. And their first of six children was Joseph Machipaco, soldat cardinal. Uh, Metis, <clears throat> who had four wives, the first was Rose Cree, married before 1825 her being about age 30. The second wife, uh, Joseph Machipaco, soldat cardinal, Joseph Fat Dagano, married before 1828. It says not why there was a second wife, whether Rose died, or whether Joseph Matsipako Soldat Cardinal was a polygamist, or polygamy was practiced by Metis, Indian, and Anglos alike in the Red River Settlement, which is where I think we are now. The third wife, Louise Lisette 
Maski Gan Maski Kostko Estrobusher was the daughter of Charlotte Joubert, the daughter of Charlotte Larchevac and Jean Baptiste Joubert. Charlotte Joubert was the wife of Joseph Frobusher, born 1740, Halifax, Yorkshire, England. And I have followed the Frobusher family extensively aback. Perhaps we've talked about it. We've talked about a lot of families. I don't remember them, not all families. Forgive me. The fourth wife of Joseph Marche Paco Soldat Cardinal was Isabella Capote de Vert, daughter of Isabella Cardinal and Martin Mascolme Capote de Vert, born about 1805. Um, the only children mentioned in that block are the, the offspring of Louise Gazette, Maski Gaw, Maski Coes, Frobisher, and them of Rose Cree. Of note here is mentioned that Isabelle Capot de Vert uh, was married a second time to Basil Cardinal about 1858, him being about 28 years old, having been born in Beaver River, Northwest Territory. Let's look at the children of Rose Cree and Joseph Machipaco Solda Cardinal. Quickly, Joseph Cardinal, born 1811, married Marianne Brayland. Pierre Parish Cardinal, born 1825, Lac first married Catherine Pacacosa Sacapuan. Born about 1831, so they, he was about 20 when they married at Whitefish Lake. And his second wife was with Isabella Durand, and he married her 1882 in Peace Hills Agency. The third child of Rose Cree and Joseph Machipacos. Soldat Cardinal was Alexis Cardinal, born 1828. Died 1855, having married Nancy Quittal, daughter of Pierre Quittal and Charlotte Ladouceur, daughter of Joseph Fett, Suzette Cardinal, and Joseph Ladouceur. So, what we have here is a family of voyageurs who entered into the northwestern wilderness and remained there, married there, and sired families there. I guess we'll call them immigrants. Louise Lisette Maskigan Maskikost Coast Frobusher, the third wife of Joseph Machipaco Solda Cardinal, son of Joseph Cardinal and Marie Amabel Imbart. Has um, two children mentioned here in the suggestion of more. The first will be Jacques Cardinal, born in 1798, Moose Mountain, near Fort Pitt in Saskatchewan. Him having married Joseph Messon Wakeley Tikak. Tikak. Her would have been about 34. They married 1814 at Lac Dish, Northwest Territories. Their son was Jacques de Diaco Cardinal, and him the husband of Genevieve Jeanette Peltier. And there's a great big star there because uh, we're supposed to look at that family. Their children include Alexander Cardinal and Elise, he married Elise Moreau. Uh, 
The second child of Louise Lisette Mask, you got mask a coat a strobusher, and Joseph Matipaco Soldat Cardinal is Joseph at Suzette Cardinal. Her involved in a in 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 a in a in a serial marriage or a marriage cluster. Uh a, mar a serial marriage, her having four husbands. Her first married Antoine Desjardins before 1824. Her second husband was Joseph Desjardins, son of Joseph Desjardins, an Okamaskawu. They were married before 1840. No, she married Boucher before 1840, and uh, their daughter. Cecil Nello Watipis Boucher married Antoine Cardinal at Whitefish Lake about 1848-1855. The fourth husband was Joseph Ladouceur of uh, Lac Ladiche. They married at Lac Saint Anne, 1844. So I'm sure she had a lot more family than that. This this uh, this brick deals uh, with the Nolan family. Augustin Nolan, and his brothers fought on the British side at Michel Mackinac during the War of eighteen twelve. Augustine Nolan was the husband of Helen and Cameron. Their son was the traitor Charles Nolan, 1838 to 1908. Him having first been married to Marianne Harrison, daughter of Thomas Harrison and Pauline Lajmagier, fur trapper family from Red River. His second wife, was Rosalie Lepien, daughter of Isabel Parent or Jean Baptiste Lepien, widow of Godfrey Lajmardier. And it seems here that um, Charles Nolan may have had a relationship with Clara Robert of Quebec, daughter of Lucie de Mer and Louis Julien Robert, son of Charles Robert and Marie Genevieve Lambert, daughter of, you don't say here, it says just look on. The children of Marianne Harrison and Charles Nolan are mentioned, as well are children of Rosalie Lepin and Charles Nolan. But we won't go into that. And this page looks a little bit confusing. Um, but we're going to talk about what's here written down all the same. Well, it seems be that Marie Theresa Grant, daughter of Marie Madeleine Desmarais and Cuthbert James Grant, Jr., was the mother of 21 children. Nine children born to Pierre Garapi, son of Francois Garapi, descendants of Marie Houdin, the twelve born of Pascal Brayland, Le Roy de Traiteurs, or the King of the Traitors. He 
him, the uh, brother of uh, Madeline Dubois-Shi Breland, wife of Charles Hood, later married to Catherine Fallard Dow, widow of Charles Beauchamp, not widow. Charles Beauchamp went on to marry Sophie Ladderoot, sister of Rosalie Ladderoot, wife of Joseph Tarand, widower of Charlotte Gladue, son of Jacques Tarand, the Marie Louise Glecomte. Of course, we know where that family goes to Les Septatou, the uh, seven stars around Riel. Madeleine Ladderoot, sister of Rosalie Ladderoot and Sophie Ladderoot was the second wife of Emmanuel Beaugrand de Champagne, son of Jean Baptiste Beaugrand de Champagne and Marie Aimable Marion, whom had first been married to Marguerite Larocque of the Blackfoot Confederacy. And the daughter of Catherine Fallardo and Charles Beauchamp, Herbie Marguerite Beauchamp, was the wife of Pierre Beaugrand Champagne, son of Emmanuel Beaugrand Champagne and Marguerite Larocque of the Blackfoot Confederacy, Pierre Beaugrand Champagne, the brother of Josephette Beaugrand Champagne, wife of Mosqueria, uh, my descendant. The three Ladderoot daughters were born of Marguerite Pontbriand, son Regret, of Northwest Territories, Manitoba, wife of Jean Philbert Ladderoot, son of Pierre Philibert Seguin and Marie Josephette Saint Amant of Quebec. Point of interest is Catherine Fellardo is the daughter of Louison and Marguerite Fallardo of Italy. Italy produced few um, immigrants to the Northwest. But earlier in our royal French heritage, Italy is more strongly represented, especially in the Acadian end of it all. Um, now, I'm not going to run through this huge name of uh, Quebecois and French ancestors. I will mention, though, that Pierre Dubochy Breland, husband of Louise Opreville, a.k.a. Joseph Ed Bally, Billy Du Bally, daughter of a Chris woman, and Antoine Bally, a Frenchman, with the parents of uh, Jean Baptiste Bernard, the first husband of Suzanne the Pissing whom later married Jean-Baptiste Breyland, whom went on to marry Cecile Bruyer. Jean-Baptiste and Madeleine Dubois and Breyland were siblings. Remember these pages? The ones that got soaked in all that paint varnish? Let's just run through this quick brick. Francois Delorme and Charlotte were the parents of Francois Delorme, who married Angelique Melter, daughter of Baptiste Melter, their son Joseph Delorme, married Marianne Garrapi. A brick in the wall of our Canadian heritage. 
Here we have something a little more exciting for you. Um, I love talking about our native First Nations origins almost as much as our founding family's First Nations heritage. This is a principally Anglo chart from the look of things and we'll begin in Scotland with John McGillis as the father of United Empire Loyalist Sergeant Donald Ban Moore, Big Fair McGillis, who married Mary McDonnell, daughter of Ranald McDonnell. Their son was the Northwest Company, Angus de Giroux McGillis, who married Marguerite Nottenacabin Vent de Boot, a Fort William Ojibwa Cree woman. Their son, Alec Andre Jerome Zero Magillis, was the husband of Marguerite Mindemayo Botno, daughter of Charles Joseph Botno, son of James Botno, and Susanna Fanny Wood. Marguerite Mindemayo Botno was the daughter of uh, Ted Holm Ed Hood. A Chippewa woman of the Canisto tribe of Sinaboy and Hare Hills. Charles Joseph Botno had also been married, or also married, Margaret Machaquean. Mako Kwe Yazain, Maki Kwe Yazain of the Attic Reindeer Clan, Song Ab. Margaret Maki Kwe Yazain, Song Ab. Daughter of a Chippewa woman and a Sioux warrior named Deloni. And we've talked to them. They are an important family and you shouldn't forget about them. Her was also married to Cuthbert Grant and Peter Grant. Not related. Cuthbert Grant was the son of David Grant and Margaret Grant, daughter of Robert Grant and Anne. Cuthbert Grant had also married an oasis, daughter of a fur trader and a native woman. Her a very important name. Now Maria Grant, daughter of Peter Grant, and Margaret Makakwea Zane Adik Songhab was the wife of Pierre de Vera Saint Falcon, son of Jean Baptiste Falcon and a Cree woman. Uh, Pierre Jean Baptiste Falcon was the son of Pierre Falcon of Acadia and Marie Genevieve Tremblay. And their son was Pierre Falcon. Him married Marie Louise Laville, daughter of Julia Mackenzie and Pierre Laville. Julia Mackenzie was a daughter of Sir Alexander Mackenzie and Marie Inuit. Sir Alexander Mackenzie, 1764 to 1820, was the son of Kenneth Mackenzie, born 1731 in Scotland, died 1780 in Ontario, and his wife Isabel MacIver, 1735 Scotland, 1774 Scotland. Sir Alexander Mackenzie was also at one time married to Concomely, daughter of Chinook Chief Concomely. But no children are mentioned. And it seems here he was also married to Gidys Mackenzie, daughter of George and Margaret Mackenzie of Scotland. But no children are mentioned. 
Now, Pierre Falcon and Marie-Louise Lavalle, daughter of Julia McKenzie, daughter of Marie Inuit, and Sir Alexander McKenzie, was uh, the parents of Athanas Falcon, who married Nancy Parisan, and Gregory Falcon, who married Marie Montam Montour, daughter of Marie Page and Abraham Montour. All resistance activist families whom participated in the defense of our territory in the Great Plains. Well, if you can tell by my voice that indeed I am tired. I've, I've been in a lot of pain because of the dampness and the weather. That's why you haven't heard from me and that's why this, this episode of stories of our ancestors it's probably not as good as some of the ones before it, albeit those are not that good either. We'll see if uh, sometime in the future, if, if, if so opportune, uh, we can revisit these stories in somewhat more of a organized and directed assault, you know, uh, something that makes much more sense and is much more fun for everyone. Love you.